I'm here at Rockingham Motor Speedway to meet a special man, Billy Monger, who's driving a stunt car today. But what he doesn't know is actually going to be driving a Formula One car for the very first time. Since last year's life-changing accident, Billy has now returned to motor racing in a specially developed Formula 3 car. But nothing could quite prepare him for today's surprise. Billy, this is yours. What? You're driving an F1 car yep. today. This is your what name. You're I'm here like for. I know you're yeah. like Formula um, One driver. That's ridiculous. It's going to be. This is a chance of a lifetime for yeah. you. Well, to get your backside in there and have a go. Oh and my God. I don't know what to say. I yeah. can see by yeah. your mouth. You're like. <laughs> All you yeah. need to say is, let's make the seat. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm getting in. The time has come. Yeah, it has. How's the tummy feeling? Um, it's all right at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of me's just lacking a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but this is going to be a super, super time for you because the sensations you're going to get are going to make this sort of something you'll never, ever, ever forget. I'm, I'm never going to forget looking forward this. to it, eh? Yeah, I can't wait. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. And I'm feeling good. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on the tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new Billy, I have to say, that was pretty emotional, seeing you drive down the pit lane going onto the racetrack itself. What was that like for you? First of all, I didn't have a clue what was going to happen, <laughs> which is obviously, you quite like to know you were going to drive an F1 it car the help. day that you turned up to drive one. But since I've been eight, like F1, you look up to that, you, that's all you want to drive, that's all you want to do, is be an F1 driver. So for me today, to finally get behind the wheel of one of these things was awesome. What did it feel like? What it felt, impressions? Yeah, it felt unreal. <laughs> I mean, it felt like the F3 car. Whenever you drive the F3 car, that's the fastest car I've driven, so it always feels like a quick car. Do you want to go back to that? No. No, I didn't think this so. This thing no. just feels like a jacked up F3 car beyond belief. I mean, the amount of grip and downforce you've got, the power. I won't ever get that same feeling again unless I get to drive another F1 car again. And after my accident, uh, I never knew whether I'd drive again, let alone if I'd ever drive an F1 car. That was sort of way off on the priority list. First of all, it was actually just to get in any car and drive again. So I think after the experience you've had today in a Formula One car, you're going to be texting or maybe talking to Lewis about it? Might send Lewis a, a message with a thumbs up saying uh, that I finally got my chance in F1 and, and just tell him how awesome it felt. Um, might tell him to, to maybe watch his back in the next few years. <laughs> hopefully I'll be, be the one, not Vettel, I'll be the one chasing him down, hopefully. Billy, you inspire, I think, thousands and millions of people uh, around the world. As I said, emotional seeing you get into a Formula car. Well done. Hopefully we'll see you on the grid, who knows? Yeah, hopefully, that's the, that's the plan. But yeah, just got to say a massive thanks to everyone that, that's got, one, got me to this point, because I never knew that this would be possible. And for today, I mean, it's my, definitely one to tick off the bucket list of, of things to, to do and hopefully I'll get another another opportunity.